Bonjour et bienvenue, I am La Madelise and welcome back again to my channel. For today's tutorial, we are going to learn on how to make patterns and how to sew the twist knot skirt. So let's get this tutorial started. To begin, prepare a sufficient amount of pattern paper to draft the skirt. Next, prepare your basic torso block and place the back and front blocks on the upper part of your paper. For the back skirt, do not trace the back waist starts. We will gather the back waist using an elastic. For the front skirt, we will transfer the value of the second dart to the first waist dart and at the side seam. Next, trace the waist to hip frame from your basic torso block. and follow the 1 4th measurement of the hip for the front and back. And extend parallel lines for the side seams, center front and center back. From back and front waistlines, mark down your desired skirt length. For me, I use 26 inches or 66 centimeters. And connect these marks, creating a line for the hem. From the hemline at the side seam, Mark in 1.25 inches or 3.2 centimeters. From these marks, square up diagonal lines toward the hip line at the front and back side seams. Next, let's work on the front skirt. From the side seam at the waistline, mark in 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch to transfer half of the second dart value. And from this mark, redraw the side seam until the hip line. From the hip line at the first dart, mark up 3.75 inches or 9.5 cm. And draw a straight line until this mark. This is going to shorten the depth of our first dart. Next, mark out the remaining 1 cm from the second dart value on each side of the front dart. And redraw the front dart until the depth of the dart mark. From the hip line, mark off 3.75 inches or 9.5 centimeters same measurement with the depth of the dart. And connect these marks creating the cut line. From the center front line at the waistline, mark down 2 inches or 5 centimeters. From this mark, draw a slant line towards the side seam. To do this, close the front dart and draw the slant line like so and disregard the excess and tape the front dart permanently. Next, I will slash the cut line to open the dart. This will help me draft the slash lines easily. Next, from the hip line at the center front line, mark down 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters. From this mark, draw a curve line until the side seam at the hemline. This line is for the front slit of the skirt. And disregard the excess. Next, on the side seam, divide the length from the waistline to the cut line by 4. And mark the 1 fourth starting from the cut line. From these marks, draw slash lines until the cut line at the center front. And now we have three slash lines for the upper part of the skirt. From the cut line at the side seam, mark down 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters. 
Next, on the side seam, divide the length from the cut line until this mark by 3. And mark the one third starting from the mark at the side seam. From these marks, draw the slash lines until the cut line at the center front. Next, cut through the rest of the cut line, making two pattern pieces for the skirt. And label the upper skirt and label the lower skirt. Next, cut out the patterns from your paper. So this is the lower skirt and this is the upper skirt. Next, slash through each slash lines toward the side seams but do not cut beyond. Next, prepare a sufficient amount of pattern paper for spreading technique. And on the right hand side of your pattern paper, draw a vertical line as a guide for spreading. Next, prepare the lower skirt pattern for the spreading technique. First, place the cut line right exactly on the guideline and tape the pattern in place. Next, from the first slash line, mark down 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters to spread the pattern. And tape the pattern right exactly on the mark. And do the same procedure for the rest of the slash lines, spreading each slash line by 7.6 cm or 3 inches. And tape the pattern in place. Next, get the upper skirt pattern and place the tip of the pattern parallel with the cut line of the lower pattern. And spread each slash line with the existing marks on the guideline. And tape the pattern in place. Next, draw a curved line connecting the lower and upper skirt pattern. And by the way, this is the center front. Next, put your desired sewing allowance all around your skirt. For the side seams, I've used 1.3 cm or 4 eighths of an inch of sewing allowance. For the cut line, I've used 1.3 cm as well. For the new waistline, center front and the front slit, I have used 0.5 cm or 2 eighths of an inch. And cut out your pattern from your paper. Next, notch the mark that we did earlier for the slit. Extend the hip line to be also used as a notch. From the new waist, mark down at least 1.25 inches or 3 cm for the waist notch. From the guideline at the cut line, mark out 1.25 inches or 3 cm on each side. These notches will be used for the channel or the hole. And draw the grain line indication at the lower part of the skirt. And this is the front twist knot skirt pattern. Next, get another piece of pattern paper and place the upper part of the skirt. And trace the waistline until the first slash line for the front skirt facing. Since we didn't put any waist arts at the back skirt, from the waistline, mark up 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters for the elastic casing. And connect these marks by squaring a line. And fold at the waistline. And trace the side seam and the center back to get its shape. And draw the trace marks to complete the elastic casing. Next, put your desired sewing allowance to your back skirt pattern. For the center back and the side seam, I've used 1.3 cm of sewing allowance. For the hemline, I've used 0.5 cm of sewing allowance. And I didn't put sewing allowance at the facing. I will search this part later. Next, prepare at least 1 yard or 1 meter of your chosen fabric. 
and place your front skirt pattern on the green line of your fabric. And cut the pattern out on your fabric. And make it sure to indicate the important notches. And cut your back skirt pattern on the grain line as well. And make a notch at the center back to avoid confusion of the shape of the back skirt. And also cut your front skirt facing on the grain line of your fabric. Next, on each front and back skirt, serge the outline of the sewing allowance to avoid fraying. Now let's work on the first front skirt. On the cut line, simply match the channel notches together facing the skirt from right side to right side and pin at the cut line in preparation for sewing. And press the cut line seam open for a clean finish. And this is the channel or the hole for the twist knot. Next, get the second front skirt and gather the other half of the side seam. And insert the second front skirt onto the channel of the first front skirt. Next, sew the cut line of the second front skirt and carefully sew until the notches. And press the cut line seam open for a clean finish. Next, let's work on the lower center front seam. Simply match the hip line and slit notches together facing both front skirts from right side to right side and pin in place. In this case, I'm going to start the stitch line from the slit notch and carefully end the stitch line before the twist knot. And once again, press the seams open. Next, let's work on the upper center front seam. Simply match the waist notches together, facing both front skirts from right side to right side and pin in place. In this case, I'm going to start the stitch line from the waist and carefully end the stitch line before the twist knot. And once again, press the seams open for a clean finish. Next, get the front skirt facing and place each facing from right side to right side and sew the center front seam according to your sewing allowance. And don't forget to give the seam a press. Next, place the facing on the front skirt from right side to right side and pin both facing and front skirt in place in preparation for sewing. And sew at the waistline by 0.5 cm away from the edge. To ease the tension, snip at the center front to lay the seams flat. And press the seams open. And press again at the waistline to lay the facing flat. Next, pin both facing and the front skirt on the side seams. And tack stitch at the side seams to keep the facing permanently in place. Next, prepare the back skirt and mark the casing measurement using a tailor's chalk. And fold these lines inward. And give these folds a press.
Next, sew the center back seams and press the center back seam open. Next, from the waistline, top stitch away from the edge by 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters for the elastic casing. Next, get the measurement of the back waistline. We will depend on this measurement for the elastic. On the elastic, mark in the back waist measurement, minus 3. And I will use this elastic for the back waist. Next, I will use my bodkin tool to insert the elastic inside the casing. And pin the elastic right exactly on the side seam and tack stitch. And lastly, sew at the side seams combining both back and front skirts. Et voilà! So this is my twist knot skirt mock-up. And these are the close-up details of the twist knot on different angles. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial will give you enough tips on how to pattern chaff and how to sew the twist knot skirt. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you super like this video, give me a super thanks. And if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, Lomo De Least, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. Abiento!